suppression of memory. As you grow up, you fill your memory with both happy, warm moments, but also with cold and bitter ones. Things that frightened you, perhaps, as a child. Things that you saw or were involved in, or maybe an illness that caused you pain. You may have learnt things that are deeply destructive to you, or to others. Or you may have hurt someone else, accidentally or deliberately. This is all stored in your memory. The fears, mistakes and the guilt can haunt you, keeping the will so occupied the composer has no chance to look in. So you have to remove damaging stuff that is already in your memory. But how do you prevent bad memories from happening? With every activity, you receive a signal from your senses. You label this and it awakens an emotion. This is called perception. And by analysing it, you learn. The learning is stored in your memory. Speaking, writing and riding a bike are executable functions. You can use them to do things directly and are pretty useful to run your daily life. Of course, you learn much more from plain facts to behaviours. And by combining data, we make our own belief systems and predictive models. This is how we think the world or the universe works. With all the man-made systems, it works fine. But everything else? How do you know if the information you have is true? Complete? That it applies to you? That you have remembered it correctly? Or that you have learnt it correctly? Your prediction or belief may be in error. Luckily, the composer can give us true help, inspiration and solutions. But the composer uses a language our memory is not able to understand. Therefore, the memory blocks the spiritual experience and it will fade away. So, we have to suppress memory. However, there is no need to suppress executable functions and beware. Some behavioural learnt functions can even be dangerous to suppress. More information, videos and the methods to suppress memory are found on allabouthaven.org.